Hey guys, it's Phoenix Tsukino, and we're finally back to Let's Play American! Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so we're continuing with our Strange Man series, and this is The Sandman. I know absolutely nothing about this. Um, with The Crooked Man, um, long, long time ago, like several years ago, I had seen a couple of Let's Players do The Crooked Man, like Markiplier, so you can, I mean, you can imagine how long ago that was, um, because Markiplier did that forever ago. Um, and I never finished their Let's Plays, um, and I realized that as I was playing because, um, at least up through, uh, Sissy's chapter, things felt like deja vu familiar. I didn't know what was happening, but it felt familiar. But once I got to like D, um, I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't even have the feeling of the deja vu. Um, as far as the Sandman goes, I've never even seen someone do a Let's Play of the Sandman, or the Boogeyman for that matter. Um, so I definitely have absolutely no idea what's going on with the Sandman. So, we are just going to get started. Um, in a second, I have something somewhere. Well, I guess I lost it. I had actually written down the controls for Sandman. <laughs> um, so that I would know right off the bat what to do. I have, though, apparently either thrown it away or put it somewhere where I cannot find it. Um, oh well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's get started. No? <laughs> Can you don't do that? This is a horror style exploration game while nothing too extreme. Be mindful that it does contain some shocking imagery. Yeah. Gotcha. Do I have to press? Yeah. Alright. So. Let's see what the Sandman is about. Shh. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. What? <laughs> okay. Hee <laughs> hee. Just kidding. You're a dick, whoever you are. Well, you're still not sleepy, are you? You just told me there was a monster in my closet. <laughs> Then I'll tell you a scary story. Why would telling me a scary story make me sleepy? <laughs> it's a bad idea. The terrifying story of the Sandman. That's not going to make me sleep. Crazy person. Morning already. I'm assuming I'm Sophie. Can I get up? Ooh! The can contains a few pieces of trash, which apparently is not important. Okay. Lamp. What in the hell is that on my closet? Your favorite teddy bear just washed. He's so nice and fluffy. Nothing for the couch. Okay. Desk? A desk clock ticks on. A small bookshelf. Textbooks and novels alike. Adorned with a picture of mom. Who is a horrible person? <laughs> okay. Let's check this creepy looking thing. Ugh. What? Oh, that was clothes. Oh, it was a school uniform. I thought that was a fucking mask. <laughs> oh, 
Constable of clothes is kind of a mess. I thought that was a mask. Okay. A bit of kitchen waste. A pot with a burnt bottom on the stove. Toast. There's still bread in the toaster. Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. What? Ew, it's been sitting there all night. It's gross. Don't eat it now. Air fridge, not much food inside. Cupboard. TV. A TV, it's, ha it's been used for a long time. I'll check that note in a second. A rather old picture taken on a vacation. And a phone. Okay, let's check this note. Because it's clearly important. A note. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I left money to take care of yourself for now. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called me f to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Love, oh, love Papa. Okay. Why did he speak in third person? That was weird. A shoe shelf has sneakers and pumps. A shoe shelf has all their shoes are in here. I'm assuming that other little indentation is outside the door. Okay, here we go. There is a stock of detergent on the shelves. Wash bin or wash basin. A toilet. Bathtub. A mirror. The mirror is slightly dirty. There are clothes in the washing machine, same slight, mostly dads. The computer is in sleep, the computer is in sleep mode. A photo of mom, so her mom is, I'm going to assume her mom is dead. Lots of books you don't really understand. So she's being raised by her dad. A small traveling bag, dad always takes it on business trips. Oops. Dad suits. Dad's closet, both suits and casual clothes. Trash, full of paper, pop work. Okay. So there's nothing in this house right now. Oh. Alright. In school. Oh, great. Hey, Sophie. You got a painter at your house? Because, man, that hair. How do you get that red without a paint spill? I don't even know how to do a different voice. I'm just give them all the same voice. Now hold on, Reagan. Maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor and mistook the ketchup for shampoo. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Yeah, that was fucking hilarious. Miss Grundler? Are you here? Miss Grundler. Oh. Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Wow. Gah. What are you doing, klutz? Hurry up. You're so slow. Seriously. Oh, you bitches die. Sophie. Um, about Reagan. Try not to let it get to you. They're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. 
I wonder why Reagan teases you so much. Must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. Well, we're friends. I don't really have any friends but you. Well, I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> There's a lot of coming from her. I guess she doesn't really like Anne. Anne's sort of like clingy or something. Come in. Welcome, Miss Grundler. I guess that's how you say your name, Grun Grundler. Please take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Miss Grundler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh yeah, so I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. It's no good. I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up until morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night? Maybe about ten days. Jesus. Well, you die in eleven days. Sorry, I can't really remember that either. Oh my. Have you gone to the hospital? No. My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him. And it would cost money. I see. I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems that's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. Why is light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter of soul, to those who long for death that does not come? Why is light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter of soul, to those who who search for it more than hidden treasure, who search, who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave. Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? For sighing has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water. What I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness, I have no rest, but only turmoil. Job was a man honest and adoring justice. But as we all know, that does not ensure that disaster will not befall us, yes? 
Through calamity he saw the truth. The truth that not everything can go swimmingly. Though you may be too young to have such Now let us pray. Okie dokie. Interesting. Oh Jesus. That was loud. Is that a phone? I should shower and get to bed. I guess that was the school bell. Alrighty. Something's gonna appear in the mirror. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes, the works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. Can't believe we didn't see something in the mirror. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Is this different? Okay, go in here. My dad's not home, apparently. He said he'll be working late. Go to bed. A prayer before bed. Mom always did that, didn't she? Now I lay me down to sleep. The Lord, I pray, my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, the Lord, I pray, my soul to take. Stupid. Interesting, there's a little bit of voice acting, more than just the <laughs> that we've been hearing before. Interesting. If that could put me to sleep, there'd be no trouble. Now wood there. Did you sleep? Something's weird. What happened to the clock? The wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird, I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? The Sandman is here, he's gonna take you away. This clock stopped at 12 too. What's this about? Who is snoring? Weird. Uh. Hey! I- it's the old guy from next door. What happened here? He- he's sleeping? Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, did he trip and hit his head? Oh no, I have to call an ambulance. She's usually her mobile. Her mobile. Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. 
If I can't get through to them, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to gleam from that? Oh, I need to tell the old lady next door first. Excuse me, is the Grundler girl from next door? Your husband's fainted in the hall. Excuse me, are you in there, miss? Hmm. It's not locked, it's wide open. What? Miss? Miss, get up, please. What happened? She's asleep, too. What's going on? The sad man. Something's weird here for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? The sad man. A pot. A stove. Trash can is empty. Refrigerator. Cupboard. Seems like a bathroom. Shouldn't go in there. Okay. Not sure what room this is. I shouldn't go in. I'm sort of breaking in as it is. Okay. She's sleeping. Old lady, what happened? She's an old lady. Okay. He's snoring wildly. Old man, are you okay? I think he's just sleeping, but... Do, do, do. Let's use the phone. So what do I do? Oh, I leave. Oh my. Another person asleep on the ground. Why are they all sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? Is, is there anyone else awake? The sad man has come. A cafe, it's locked up tight. Ooh, it's shiny. Give it. There's a map of the town. Got a town map. Cool beans. A mailbox. A restaurant it's locked up tight. Car for a company called Safety Guard. Okay. A bank is locked. That doesn't seem to be anybody. What? Yeah, this gets weirder and weirder. All the people I've seen are asleep on the street. What in the world is going on? <laughs> Sandman! Sandman! Oh god. Sophie. Oh my god, David. Hi.